This is our top story on We On Dispatch. Sri Lanka's president is seeking to escape the island nation in a Navy aircraft. After a humiliating standoff with immigration officials, the 73-year-old fled his official residence in Colombo on Saturday. This was just before protesters took over the palace. Since then, Gotabaya has promised to step down and resign, paving the way for a peaceful transition of power. As President Rajapaksa enjoys immunity from arrest, reports suggest he wanted to travel abroad before stepping down. This is to avoid the possibility of being detained. But immigration officers have refused to go to where he is and stamp his passport. Meanwhile, Rajapaksa insists he would not go through the public facilities. The president and his wife spent the night at a military base one located just next to the main Bandara Naike International Airport. This comes after they missed four flights that could have taken them to the United Arab Emirates. So what options does the president have right now? Currently, his best option is to take the sea exit. He could either go to the Maldives or any other neighboring nation. From there, the embattled leader can take a flight to Dubai. Another alternative would be to charter a plane from the country's second international airport. This airport in Matala opened in 2013 and is named after his brother Mahinda. It is widely described as probably the world's least used international airport. So it could be easy for Gotabaya Rajapaksa to take a flight from there. There is still no official word about the Sri Lankan president's whereabouts, but currently Gotabaya is Sri Lanka's commander-in-chief. This means that he has the armed forces at his disposal for now. Meanwhile, Rajapaksa's youngest brother, Basil, tried to leave the country on Tuesday too. Basil holds U.S. citizenship in addition to Sri Lankan nationality. He had to obtain a new passport after leaving his behind at the presidential palace. But the former finance minister missed his own Emirates flight to Dubai. This was after he got caught in a similar standoff with the airport officials. Basil tried to use a paid concierge service for business travelers, but airport staff said they were withdrawing from the fast track service. There were some other passengers who protested against Basil boarding their flight. This led to a tense situation, so he left the airport quickly. Now a motion has been filed in the Sri Lankan Supreme Court seeking an order to prohibit Mahinda, Basil and others from leaving the island nation. And for more on the situation in Sri Lanka, our correspondent Dasunia Thauda has sent us this report from the capital, Colombo. With the nation eagerly awaiting to see when President Gotabe Rajpaksa will send in his letter of resignation, the president's exact whereabouts still remain unknown. However, it is learned that President Gotabe Rajpaksa's attempts to leave the country were proven futile on numerous occasions following the protest and the stepping away of duties by the officials at the airports who refused to allow for the president to leave the country. That's not all. President's own brother, Basil Rajapaksa, who served as the former finance minister, also attempted to leave the country in the early hours of today, following which the staff and duty at the airport lounge services stepped away from their duties because of the protest that the people pushed towards these officials, preventing the Rajapaksas from leaving the island nation. However, the question remains as to whether the president will make an appearance tomorrow, at least for one last time in his capacity as president before he hands over his letter of resignation. Reporting for We On World is one from Colombo. I'm Dasuni Atauda. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.